Okay, Sagittarius, let's get into your October 2022 general reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Remember, these are general messages, so not every message will resonate with you. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Um, also, watch for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign videos for a more complete message. Or check out my website, LuckySevenTarot.com, if you're interested in um, a personal to see what I offer for the month of October. All right. So one of the other things that I want to tell you is that it's a king of diamonds month in cardology. I did a whole video about this, um, and what you can expect if you're interested in watching that it is available on my channel. Um, but this, the, how it's going to affect us collectively. All right. So, all right. You guys got a lot going on. You got cards falling out. Okay, so let's talk about the challenges, all right? First of all, well, before we even get into that, I feel like some of you guys, there's going to be a significance to children or um, being more friendly, having more, you know, having closer friendships could be significant. But let's talk about the challenges. First of all, you have the snake and the birds. The snake and the birds really does talk about some sort of loss some type of calamity here. This could be a snake in the grass. Now, and the birds may be um, some type of drama. It could be somebody talking recklessly to you, somebody talking about you, all right? This is an enemy of some kind is, you know, the way that I'm seeing this. Now, aside from this, I do see really good energy here, okay? Um, you've got the shepherd, the bouquet of flowers. You've got the house, which is one of my favorite cards. Um, and the star, some of you guys are going to achieve some type of success coming up for you. I feel like you're going to be enjoying life a little bit more. A lot of you are going to be healing from something mentally or emotionally. I feel like there's happiness. that's also indicated here. Um, some of you, there's success in all like everything that you're doing may bring about some type of success. So if you are in a situation right now where the conditions of your life kind of feel sucky, <laughs> I don't know, they suck, right? Um, I feel like in the near future, things are going to be happy. They're going to be very prosperous. Um, some of you, there could be a marriage with the, with the house card um, that's indicated here, something going on within your marriage if you are already married. I feel like this is something, you got the heart. There's something going to bring you a lot of joy. Um, some of you, I do see someone coming in, being very interested in you, being flirtatious. This could even lead to a higher level commitment or fulfillment in your life, especially if you, for those of you who are single, I see somebody trying to flirt with you, somebody wanting to be with you. All right. So let's go ahead and talk about love using the tarot. What is coming up here regarding love? Um for my Sagittarius subscribers out there. Make sure you guys hit the like button for me. It does show support to the channel and I really appreciate it. All right. Um, tell me what's coming up for Sagittarius regarding love for, I almost said September, for October, 2022. The magician, Gemini energy, your opposing sign. Um, this could also be Aries too. Uh, a lot of you, you've been through something. Nine of Wands. You've been through something, but you're persevering. There may have been a breakup or an ending of a relationship. Okay. Three of Cups reverse, four of Wands reverse. Uh, but you have the power to manifest some sort of new opportunity. All right. Um, something new here. Let's see what your challenge is for the month of October. What's challenging this situation for Sagittarius? The seven of pentacles. A lot of you, maybe you feel like it's happening very slowly. I think you're feeling like you put in all this effort and you're having to like painfully wait. It's like you feel maybe some of you are feeling like you're 10 steps forward and 10 steps back, you know, so you kind of feel like you're at a standstill. Um, I do see some, some of you, the fact that you may have you may feel like you met the one, the person that you're supposed to be with or the person of your dreams. And I feel like one person may have been giving more to the connection than the other one. 
you may have been waiting for this person to give to this connection for things to move forward. I feel like there was some level of instability. Some of you guys, there was, there's no communication or there's like a block in communication with you and this person. I feel like there might be some sort of drama there. All right. We'll know more when I clarify. Let's see what happened in the past with you regarding this situation in love. The five of cups. So in the recent past, there was some sort of sadness that you guys went through some type of regret. Some of you, this has to, had to do with a child. Um, for others, this may have been somebody like pushing you away. All right. Two of swords energy. Um, I feel like this was somebody you had for some of you, maybe you learned the truth about this person or you may, for others, you could have did this to this person. I'm, I'm explaining it as if it's Sagittarius, you know, this is a Sagittarius read, but if you're cross watching, it could be the other way around. But yeah, there was definitely some type of sadness here in the recent past, something where someone was grieving, they had some regrets, um, about the situation. Let's see what's on your mind in the month of October. The high priestess, a lot of you are learning to trust your intuition. I feel like you've been closed off. All right. Um, and you're working on having a new beginning. You're working on healing because something, somebody didn't offer anything to you. Somebody that you really thought was like everything. They were the one. I, I don't know why, but I'm also getting this. Some of you, this could be playing out in your work life. They're like, you felt like overlooked in a career position. Um, Maybe, you know, you had everything and then all of a sudden it fell flat is what I'm getting. And like, you may feel lonely there. You may not be, you know, you're really in your head trying to think this through, sort through it. All right. Um, but take it how it resonates. Okay. So <clears throat> let's see what's hidden here for you. What is hidden when it comes to this situation for my Sagittarius family out there? The King of Cups in reverse. And you still have this Two of Swords. So I do feel like a lot of you, there's something you're just not seeing clearly, or either you're pushing someone away or they're pushing you away. I feel like a lot of you have been in this place of overthinking. I'm also seeing where like there's been a lot of fear. All right. You guys have been afraid to kind of move on. You've been really in your head about what the next steps are because something happened abruptly. And I think it really stole something from you. It interrupted your happiness. All right. Um, it was something, there was something that you were really involved in. You were really invested and vulnerable. You know, you were happy. You felt like you had everything that you wanted. And then all of a sudden, I feel like the rug got ripped un out from underneath of you. All right. From everything that you worked so hard on. Let's see what your hopes and fears are when it comes to this situation. The Queen of Swords. So a lot of you in the Eight of Cups, I feel like your fear is that you're going to have to walk away from this, that you're going to be alone. Um, a lot of you, you fear even, I don't know, letting somebody get close to you. You feel like you're not going to recover from this. You're not going to be successful beyond this situation. A lot of you feel unappreciated, you know, um, and what I'm also getting is like your hope in this situation is that you can walk away from this and persevere. Okay. That you're, you will be able to kind of protect yourself from this situation. All right. Uh, and you will have success in the future. That's your hope and your fear. Let's see what the most likely um, outcome is for you in the month of, I keep wanting to say September. I feel like something may have happened in September that is carrying over to October for a lot of you. So your most likely outcome in this situation is the Wheel of Fortune reversed and the Four of Pentacles in reverse. A lot of you have had a run of bad luck. There's something that didn't feel good to you. It may, I feel like this is something that you're going to have to release. You're going to have to let this go. And I think you're doing that. Okay. I feel like you're doing that. I feel like, um, this may even be something that's kind of front and center for you. As you decide to let this go, as you release it, things change for you for the better. 
all right? Things do change for you for the better. I also feel like somebody could come towards you when they feel, for whatever reason, like somebody may try to come back around into your life once they feel you releasing this and letting go and gathering your strength back and, you know, all of that and decide to try to invest in this, all right? Um, but that's not for everyone, okay? We're going to clarify and see. Tell me more about this situation for my Sagittarius subscribers. What do they need to know? Yeah, the Queen of Wands. So there you are. A lot of you with the Four of Swords at the bottom of the deck, and I'm seeing the Nine of Swords here, you literally have been in this place of fear. You've been in this place of overthinking. You've been holding yourself back. A lot of you may have even struggled with some type of depression or sadness, but you are manifesting some type of new beginning from an ending of some kind where you feel lonely. You may have been trying to hold on to something and it didn't work out, okay? Tell me why the Seven of Pentacles is here. The Strength card. Okay, this is your challenge is being strong, is continuing to put one foot in front of the other. You've got the seven of pentacles as the main card. And then it's also at the bottom of the deck. Um, a lot of you are letting go of something. All right. And moving on. And as you move on from this, you release it. You're strong enough to let it go, despite how much effort you put into it. All right. Um, and I feel like you're going to have to be patient with this energy. But you will have success and things, I feel like, will be happy for you again, okay? But you're going to have to be strong enough to release something that you gave so much of yourself to and you've been waiting for it to grow. And as you sort of let this go, recognizing that it's not moving forward, you know, it's not working the way that it was working before or the way that you anticipated it, um, there's going to be a... a a change. Okay. Why the five of cups in the past, the 10 of swords. Oh my goodness. In the recent past guys, you guys were so hurt. You were betrayed. Um, I don't know this. It may have had to do with either a choice that you made. I feel like somebody, there was somebody that, that gave up on you. Okay. Somebody that gave up on you, they may have had a wall up. Some of you, this person, I don't know, they didn't want to put, they didn't want something to be public. All right. Five of swords. I just wanted to get one more. Literally in the recent past, five of cups, 10 of swords, five of swords, all in the upright. Guys, that makes me so sad for you because that really... You know, some of you were dealing with someone who wasn't taking any real action towards you. Um, they were conflicted. Some of you, they had, an, you know, had other options, whatever the case may be. Some of you, this situation just made you feel conflicted, made you feel stuck, all right, um, in the recent past. And I feel like now you're finally able, you know, coming in October, things are going to change a little bit for you. You're going to be able to put one foot in front of the other and move forward. Now, what's on your mind, you got the five of cups here in reverse and the ten of cups. So a lot of you, you're thinking of ways to heal. You know, you're focused on your healing. You're focused on your abundance, okay? Um, I feel like you are manifesting some significant changes for yourself. Uh, some of you, I feel like you still feel connected to someone, emotionally connected to that person. but. Some of you, you're learning to trust your intuition and recognizing that you just, you know, this wasn't working out for you the way that you wanted, you know. Um, why is the King of Cups here? The Eight of Wands. This is what you don't see, all right? You have the Ace of Cups in reverse, the Nine of Pentacles reverse, the Eight of Swords reversed. I'm also seeing uh, the Ten of Cups here, all right? A lot of you, I feel like um, you're going to be moving on from somebody that was emotionally unavailable or someone that maybe you fell out of love with or they fell out of love with you. I don't know. Um, you're not going to let this keep you stuck. You're not going to let this keep you stuck to the past. 
You have this opportunity to take a chance on a new beginning, but it does require you to let go of some sort of injustice that happened to you. All right. And as you do that, you do have support and there will be some sort of opportunity that comes in for happiness. All right. For change. This is an abrupt change that you don't see. Tell me a little bit more about this. The tower. Something is falling apart. Okay. Maybe because somebody had other options, maybe because they didn't know where to place their affection or there was a lot of confusion here. I feel like some of you wanted things to move forward very quickly. Some of you just went through like a very quick ending. Um, but I see you moving on from this. All right. I see you moving on from this situation. It changed you, whatever this was. All right. Now, in your hopes and fears, you have the hermit in reverse. I do feel like a lot of you are afraid that you may be lonely forever. You know, I feel like you're afraid to fight for, for something and not come out victorious. But you're also hoping that if you let this go, like, that you won't end up alone. So there's a, you know... It's kind of like the duality of that. Like you, I feel like a lot of you are in this place of suffering almost. Tell me about this will of fortune in reverse as the outcome. The seven of cups, the death card in reverse. There's been something that did not work out for you that is very painful. There's a lot of confusion around it. Some of you, uh, you I feel like, it's been so hard to release this, so hard to let go that, you know, somebody gave up on you, the person that you were so connected to. I am seeing things come together for you, though. You may not feel like it, but things are going to work themselves out. Tell me more. The Fool, this is leading you to a new opportunity, all right? This might feel like you lost out on an opportunity. Okay, like things were unfair, you know, but I do see you celebrating some sort of new beginning once you are able to look beyond the confusion of this situation. All right. Now, some of you, this may have cost you financially. All right. Some kind of truth may, be, may have been revealed or you, this cost you something that you felt like it was long term. But here's the thing, as you let go and don't let this hold you back, I am seeing you there be healing and there will be a new opportunity that comes in right behind this very slowly, but it is stable, but it requires you to make sacrifices to walk away from something else that's not working for you, that isn't meant to go into the future with you. It requires you to take a chance. It requires you to, to you know, to kind of lean in um, to a new beginning for yourself. All right. And not continue to maybe push people away or, you know, don't fall into the trap of depression, that type of thing. All right. Let's see what else you got going on here. Messages for Sagittarius. You do have romantic feelings for someone. And I feel like it comes at a cost to your personal self-worth your value or how your self-esteem. All right. But you're going to have to make the effort to move forward, to have the love that you deserve. There's something, like I said, you've got to free yourself of it. All right. The truth may have come out. I feel like you've got to free yourself from someone in your life. Some of you guys, I feel like you, there may be a reconciliation with someone you have a lot of chemistry with that you are in separation from. Or somebody may want to reconcile here. But you're not optimistic about this. You're not optimistic. I feel like there's something about this person where you may see this as like, you don't even know them, you know? Um, yeah, okay. For some of you, I will say the other storyline that I'm getting is that you may be freeing yourself from somebody because they showed you who they really were. And as you do that, you actually draw in 
another relationship. This may be somebody that you already know or you have history with in some way. Or when you meet this person, you feel like you've got, like, they feel like home. All right. Um, so there's two different storylines here. But a lot of you've got to get over this particular cycle of holding on to this person. I feel like this person, there was a lot of flirtatious energy, but somebody was lacking confidence. They may have even self-sabotaged the connection between you and this person. A lot of you guys were, you know, the sexual attraction was insane and it brought you like a lot of joy, a lot of happiness. For some of you, there was a third party interference in this situation that you're gaining clarity about. All right. Uh, and that's you learning the truth may have resulted in some sort of separation with you and this person. For some of you, I am seeing um, somebody is contacting you, maybe reaching out to you and telling you how they feel. This person could be telling you, hey, Sagittarius, I'm in love with you. And I don't think it's the same person for a lot of you. I don't think it's the same person. Um, I feel like it's somebody else. I'm also feeling like somebody is avoiding having a conversation here, uh, not talking to you. You're not talking to them. Some of you want to talk to this person or they want to talk to you, but somebody is avoiding that conversation because you guys mirror each other. I feel like there's a lot of thinking about this. This There's a lot of thinking about talking and not a lot of talking happening is what I'm seeing. All right. What else can you tell Sagittarius? Yeah, somebody is very detached. All right. They're detached. There might be some gossip surrounding this situation. All right. I feel like you might end up being Sagittarius like the bell of the ball where a lot of people want to date you. They're seeing you. You're on... Both of you are detached from each other. Both of you are acting immature towards each other. Your backs are towards one another. You literally got the ice king and the ice queen. And in the middle of it, it's like you adore each other. You love each other. But you're acting, you're both acting immature. I don't know. Somebody may have still been had still needed to deal with something having to do with an ex that was karmic in their life. I do see a new love that could lead to some type of union here where you have a lot of chemistry, a lot of passion for one another, but there is somebody that's still withholding in this situation. So for some of you, like I said, in order to have that love come in, you're going to have to let go of the past. All right. Some of you work with this person. Or you may, I don't know, meet this person at work or while you're in your lunch break or something like that. Let me see about this new person. Yeah, this is a relationship for sure. This is a new love where it's like, this is somebody that's absolutely certain about you. You're certain about them. They may wine and dine you. Okay, I'm liking where this is going for you, Sagittarius. I am. The obstacle. There are some obstacles in the way of you and this new love, though. And I think the obstacle is you being maybe still closed off. Some of you, the obstacle is the fact that you still have feelings for the ex. But you've got to let go of the situation, let go of control. When it comes to this, what's the obstacle? Okay. Some of you, I will say, I feel like this could be a friendship. This person could be, um, they may be somebody that you friend zoned or you may not necessarily see them in that way. You may not see them in the light of like a relationship, but I feel like they this could warm into something. What other messages do you have for, oh, you know what? Let me use this deck. What else can you tell Sagittarius? Oh, somebody looks good on the outside. They may even be like, I don't know, gaining recognition or in the spotlight. 
I feel like you guys feel played. All right. You feel played. You're really in your feelings about this situation. I feel like somebody is very desperate for attention. Feels desperate for attention, but it's like they're not talking to you. You're not talking to them. You guys want each other's attention, but you're not speaking, I'm seeing. I feel like, yeah, somebody thought maybe the grass was greener on the other side or they were left to wait, you know, like put on hold. I feel like a lot of you, there's some sort of jealousy that you feel um, over some type of surprise where it's like you feel like something was stolen from you, like somebody tried to finesse you. And I think you're learning some truth about this or there's some gossip regarding this. There's some sort of double standard. I also see somebody either watching you or you watching this person. Okay. Like, I don't know, stalking, watching. What else can you tell Sagittarius? What's coming up for them? Some of you, you feel like a relationship was taken from you, stolen from you. And I think that's the hard part. That's the part that you can't get over. Um, you still, I don't know, you still feel connected. A lot of you, you're making the choice to stay in in the house or like around the familiar. I feel like you also are feeling as though someone in your life is not going to change. So I, I don't know, maybe you feel like this person is moving on or you're moving on from them. I do feel like you have a lot of worry about the future, what's going to happen in the future. And there will be a new path that comes in when you least expect it, when you're not even thinking about it. All right. Um, you may feel like you lost something because you're not talking to someone and there's no change in that situation. But as you move on, I feel like somebody does want to offer something to you. Okay. Something really stable, but there's this energy of like you kind of feeling stuck. Some of you feel stuck in the house, you know, or you just feel stuck in your environment. Um, you may be trying to focus your energy on work. Okay. Um, I do see, tell me about this new path for Sagittarius. Hmm. Some of you, there could be something going on with your child, the health of a child, or maybe this is your own health because of childhood trauma. I am seeing some unexpected blessings come in for you. Possibly some sort of wealth or abundance you've had to work hard for. You're going to get some sort of recognition here. Somebody may be grieving. A, I don't know. I feel like somebody's grieving something going on within their home environment. All right. I don't feel like you guys are going to be lonely or alone for long if that's your, you know, if that's your story, okay? Um let's see. What else do you have for Sagittarius? There's going to be balance in this Sagittarius. All right, there's going to be balance that comes in from this. A lot of you are going through a journey of discovery, right? This is you transforming and changing the discovery is of how to love yourself having self love all right creating healthy boundaries i feel like you're on some kind of cycle that is coming to an end you're gaining your freedom of this all right um i'm also feeling like somebody here some of you may have gotten news or there might be news of someone having issues with their sexuality or being honest about their sexuality because they may have dealt with some sort of rejection. Some of you, what I'm also seeing is that there is a need to let go of some type of rejection. Okay. A need to let go of some type of rejection that you've, that you've encountered. Um, in order to break the cycle. All right, let's see what your advice is. What advice? Oh, before I do that, I did want to pull 
one of these. What messages do you have for Sagittarius for October? Sagittarius, you do have a person coming in that wants a commitment with you. But I feel like you're focused on yourself when this offer comes in. So be aware that it may come in. It may end up being like a missed opportunity because I do feel like somebody has good intentions for you, but you're still focused on the past and that could ruin potential future op opportunities. Um, I feel like things were moving too fast for you and someone because they were your wish come true or that's what you thought and things happened very quickly. Maybe you just didn't get to know this person's character, but I feel like you're thinking of this person every day. Somebody here is trying to move on or has moved on. I do see somebody having some type of regret that this situation happened the way that it did. All right. Somebody's got on heel childhood trauma for sure. This is bringing up issues that still need to be worked on. I feel like this person, I don't know why I keep seeing this. Somebody is watching you online or you're watching them. All right. I do see somebody wanting your forgiveness or struggling with offering forgiveness or accepting some type of forgiveness here. Somebody feels like it's not worth fighting for. I see someone apologetic, like they're sorry. They just don't know how to say it. Their family and friends may not like you. They may have somebody in their ear that's like, that they're keeping secret that like is, I don't know. They're not telling you that like they're taking on a lot of other opinions from other people that may be affecting their decision to be with you. What else can you tell Sagittarius? Yeah, I feel like you, this was almost everything that you wanted, but it's like almost doesn't count in this situation. And so you guys are going through depression with this. And I think at some point you are going to wish this person well. And as you do, walk away. This is going to be somebody that realizes that you're the best that they ever had in their life. But I think a lot of you are also having self-esteem issues. You don't feel pretty. You don't feel good about yourself um, in the moment. I feel like a lot of you... You still have this belief when it comes to love, but there there is something about the situation that feels like you're suffocating, all right? And you're trying not to, you know, you're trying to be the adult about this situation and not let anybody see you sweat. I do see, mm, there could be some, either a confession coming up for you about a new love interest or somebody is confessing that they have interest in you. I feel like somebody may even come forward and tell you that they want to you to stay with them, but you're going to require that that person like make you a priority. You want this person to be the priority. I feel like the truth is very painful because you are, you know, you have feelings for this person. And you want this person for yourself, for a lot of you, but you you require this person to change. You do feel like you belong with them, but you want them to treat you the way that you feel like you deserve to be treated. You know, you, you want them to be careful with you, right? So let's see. What advice do you have? Sagittarius, do more, say less. Don't talk about it, be about it, all right? There's something here that you got to use your creativity for. Um, what else? Listen to your heart. Trust your heart. I feel like your heart is so big and you're trying to protect it so deeply because you feel like someone is hiding something. I feel like whatever they're hiding, if you don't already have evidence of it, you know what the truth is. And you know you need to trust your intuition. This may create family struggles for you, um, but look at that. You need to be selfish. You need to focus on you. Stop giving more to others than you give to yourself, all right? That is what I have for you, Sagittarius. I love you guys, and I wish you the best. I will see you next time. Let me know in the comment section down below if this resonated and how it applies to your story, all right? That's what I have for you guys. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.